Yes. All right, Jamal, 48 points, um, 19 in the fourth quarter and eight of 12 shooting. Just, just you, obviously a career high. Best day on a basketball court anywhere ever? Huh? Was this your best basketball performance anywhere ever? Uh, at this level, yeah. Um, I think that's, that was just a fun game. <laughs> I was having a lot of fun. Um, I think uh, my emotion took over, as it normally does. Uh, I get going like that, you know, no respect to you know, the Boston organization, the Boston fans, for the rush shot. Um, I just had it in my mind I was going for 50, and uh, I think everybody kind of understood that's what I was trying to do. I really, really was meaning and no disrespect, and, you know, um, I know half the team over there, so uh, I know our feelings, but it was just a fun game, and my emotions took over, and um, I was looking for the ball each time on the court. I think coach called a play for Joker, and I pulled up for three. <laughs> and called a timeout, so <laughs> so it was just uh, just my emotions took over, and um, that's how I get sometimes when I keep going. What, what point did you know this is this is about to be the play for you? First shot. Um, I think just I was tired going into the game, but uh, I play better when I'm tired. Uh, I play with more focus. Um, I was taught that way, grew up that way. Um, and you know, I don't even know how much I have to have, but uh, I just I didn't lose that mood, I lose that uh, that confidence, and uh, my team just kept finding the ball. Uh, they're they're telling me we get the ball, uh, telling me to run away from me, telling me just to call Joe for a screen. So uh, they have my back, and, and um, I think they're looking for me more. Some kind of the, the kind of the back and forth with Kyrie, Kyrie scoring, you scoring. Did that also kind of get the adrenaline going, get the competitive juices flowing with you? Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, it's a lot of fun to go against him, um, especially when you're both making shots. Uh, you get to come up with a W. Uh, we got the best of him tonight. Uh, but, uh, it wasn't just me. <coughs> um, you know, John Brown, a couple of goons, Jason Tam had a good move. Um, Kyrie was sitting all over the floor. Uh, so, like I said, that was, that was a really fun game, kind of similar to the OVC game we had that last year. Uh, with both teams just going at it, and uh, the fans were good. This team's 9-1. Can you kind of speak to the just how high the confidence is with this year? Right now? Um, I forget who it was, but somebody asked me uh, this morning, um, you know, is this like something that is just a fluke, or is it like are we trying to prove something, or whatever the question was. So I'm, you know, I'm really familiar, you know, is how much, who else we got to go through, you know, you know what else I got to you know, what else are we going to do? So, you know, we've done some great stuff. We haven't accomplished nothing, though. Um, we just got to look at one game at a time like we have been, keep trusting each other, and, and uh, we'll get the job done next game. Jamal, this morning, you said that Kyrie's a guy that you learned from as you're playing against him. I think he learned a little bit from you tonight. Uh, it was just a fun game. Um, I really wasn't thinking about learning. I was <laughs> I went home to school for a year, so you know, I was just thinking about putting the ball in the basket. That's all, that's all I was tough to do. So um, but it was a really fun game, and um, well, he's a hell of a matchup. So, uh, I think there was a point where we were scoring so much, just back and forth. We just both stood at the three-point line, like we were both tired. And, you know, it, was just, it was a fun game, though. So, yeah, my legs are missing now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jamal, you hit this three in the second half, and the Celtics called a timeout and kind of walked out the court and, and let go one of those blue arrows. What was kind of just going through your head there? Yeah, I don't know. I, I have a lot of emotions sometimes, and like I said, my teammates just brought me up. You know, they, they always got my back. They always, they always rooting for me, and uh, you know, I think our energy was just great. It, was, it wasn't just me. Um, it, was, it was everybody. It was a collective group. Uh, I would have got that, that, that those many points if uh, the team wasn't um, as ready as, as they were tonight. So um, they kept looking for me and they kept trying to find me the ball and uh, kept trying to help me out. Uh, so. And then you had that pass to launch him in the corner where you were like falling down and threw it like over your shoulder. Did you even see him on that play before? I um, mean, at this point, we just know where it was going to be. Um, and you know, our international playing style came to, came to play to, uh, today. So um, I just knew where he was going to be. And um, he always does a good job of moving without the ball. And, and, uh, I think he made one made a shot before that too, so uh, yeah, it was, it was a big play too. What, was it, can you even describe what it's like to be in that sort of zone? You have 19 points in the fourth quarter. I just, I just go on, like, I don't know. I, just, I don't have any words. Um, I just have, I have no conscience. Like, I really don't care at that point. Um, I think that's the reason why I took that shot at that point. I, everybody knew I was trying to go. <laughs> that's the problem. Like, I didn't mean no, dis no disrespect, but I just. Uh, like I said, my emotions just took over, um, like I did it with the Lakers uh, last year. You know, I just, I really just kind of lose myself sometimes, and uh, 
yeah, the energy in the, in the locker room was great. The team the team was on me, you know, hyping me up and stuff. So, uh, like I said, I just I had no looks. How's it feel to get MVP chance like you were getting there in the fourth quarter? I was locked in. I didn't hear him. <laughs> 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 I was just focusing on calling the play and scoring a bucket. Um, but yeah, it was it was cool, man. It was, it's 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 a great feeling. You know, it's the first time uh, I've ever gotten that, and, and hopefully there's plenty more. So. Um, Big game. Yeah, next one, next one, two days. What was the biggest difference in the way that you guys took care of the ball? Because uh, seven turnovers in the first quarter, and then I think only six the rest of the way. What would you guys do differently to kind of take care of the ball? Um, I think I had three of those in the first quarter. Um, I was being lazy with it. Uh, I forgot that they were the best defensive team in the NBA. Um, just kind of being lazy. My passes were kind of slow, and, and uh, no, they're all my fault. I can't blame nobody for that. So. Uh, I think we did a great job of just locking in and making a simple play and um, just came down to basics. You know, with that team, with a good defensive team, you can't try to be too fast. You just got to come down to basics and, and uh, you know, be aggressive at the same time. So I think that's what we did. And, uh, I think we only had one turnover in the third or second. I don't know which part. Um, but we did, that, was, that was when we went on a run. That's when the bench came and did their job. What else allowed the team to take care of the ball is one of the things. But what else allowed the team to get rally from an 18 point deficit? No panic. I mean, they're hitting shots. They're hitting a lot of shots, uh, and like I said, the turnovers didn't help us uh, at all. So, you know, we just knew that if we take care of the ball, we make some of the shots our own, uh, get a couple stops like we did, uh, we'd be fine. And we'd be right back in the eight, and we were good. You know, it came down to uh, who could rebound the ball and finish possessions. Obviously, it's great energy for you. You guys were nine to one, beat Boston, beat Golden State. What has, what has been different, do you think, about the way you guys have started compared to where you were last year? I mean, I've been here for two years, and both years we missed the playoffs by one game. And now it's just we're taking every game like like it was that Minnesota game. I think that's the biggest thing. I think, uh, you know, we talk about it before in training camp, but I think everybody has that feeling, you know, that if we lose one game now, it's going to come back and haunt us at the end of the year. So I think our, just our focus, whether it's shooter or whether it's film, um, we're just getting better every day. And uh, we have a, a conscious effort not to not to lose to anybody, you know, and we're going to give our best effort and look in the mirror so that we, we tried our best. One more. Thank you. No